Hey boys and girls. So um, tomorrow's my two weeks. I typically do my grill maintenance every two weeks. I try to keep it on the schedule best I can. Um, but I, <clears throat> I did actually have um, that one day where I cleaned it out when I did the silicone and things like that. So, and it's pouring down rain. It's been pouring down rain all day long. So we're gonna just keep rolling. Uh, we're gonna do some tomahawks tonight. Uh, do a nice reverse sear on them. So I figured, um, let's grill in the rain. So I'm going to um, fire this bad boy up. Even my shelter's not keeping the rain out of here today. She's been blowing and nasty. Water off of it. And we're gonna take this bad boy to 225 for the reverse sear. Definitely gonna need some pellets. So, Theory, watch out, buddy. Let's do, um, grab some oak. Hold it, Mark, for you. And some char hickory. Let's do this. Try to do this quick so I don't let any rain in while I'm putting the pellets in. Put them down to the edge. And that's that. So, all right, I'm going to let that bad boy go up. Um, Gonna mix up some meat meth, get them uh, tomahawks rubbed, and uh, we'll get them out of here. Throw some smoke at them. All right, boys and girls, we are at 225. So throw these bad boys on there, and um, our baste. So as you know, when you're doing steaks and cast iron, one of the best parts that makes the steak so well is the basting afterwards. You know, that all that's drippings, all that good stuff. I try to do the same thing, even though I get to reverse here and grill the steaks. I take my little pan right here, my little iron. I got some of the trimming from the tomahawks laid in there. I got some garlic in there. Got some sweet cream butter in there and a little bit of thyme. So I'm just gonna uh, toss that on at the same time, let it smoke. Let it just build this flavor, this and that. I'm gonna keep it on there when I heat it up, right before the sear, after we're um, at temp. You just drop each steak in there a little bit and then toss them over the fire, so. And then at the very end, a little dunky dunky. So, toss this on here first. I'm gonna put this guy over in the corner, out of the way. And let's throw some Tommy's on. Throw this one right here in the back. This big old bench right here in the front. And I get to even on there. Should be good. So, there we go. Is there Tommy's in our base here? Ready to go. So, I'm going to take them to uh, right around 120. Um, I like to do them a little bit low lower. Um, so that way I rest them after I, um, you know, take them up to that temp after the reverse before the sear. So I'm going to take them up to that, pull them off for a few minutes. Usually gives me time to, um, my wife getting home and all that other good stuff. So, and, uh, at that time, then I prepare all the other stuff we're having with it tonight. We're just going to have some red potatoes and, uh, uh, salad with it. One of my favorite meals, except ever for fries. But anyway, um, and then sear them off. Try to bring them to a finish about 30. Um, with the reverse sear, um, as I'm sure most of you know, I, I don't know what I'm telling anybody anything they didn't know. Um, but afterwards, you typically don't need to let them rest because everything's already done. I saw that stuff in there. That muscle didn't tighten up. Nothing, you know, it's not pushing anything out. I typically still let it go for about five minutes just while I'm, you know, plating and doing that other stuff. But you don't really have to. So I'm going to let those guys uh, soak in some of that smoke and uh, 
we'll be back at 120. All right, guys. So we are sitting at uh, 73. So I'm going to um, just give them a flip. I'd like to make sure everything's done evenly. You know what I mean? The top gets the same attention that the bottom does, all that other good stuff. So I, I guess I don't need both gloves, do I? All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Beautiful. Got our melt going on over there, looking good. So, all right, I'm gonna let them go. Like I said, it's other 120, we'll be back. All right guys, so we're at 120 and we are ready to pull these bad boys off and get this thing uh, into afterburn mode. So, let's do that. ourselves a sprig of rosemary we're gonna toss that into our goodness over there get these guys out of the way look at those bad boys and let's do this bring this big boy up to six. Oh snap the engine's in all right, I'm gonna let that heat up. And we're gonna do some searing. All right, guys, as you can see, we're standing in the cloud, man, from smoked to stoked for five minutes. So let's sear some steaks. called the flavorizer bar. Get some. Oh, kissed by fire, boys and girls. Kissed by fire. Those bad boys. Check that out. Bad. That's what I'm talking about right there. Love it. finish. We'll give her one more little tappity tap in our goodness over there. Give her a few more seconds on each side. I said I only, only kept them at, uh, only brought them to 120 on the, uh, on the smoke, so. that. All right. 
Alright boys and girls, I think we're I think we're there. You check that out. Look at that. Come on. Look at that shit. It's beautiful. Give her a little more love. Set that bad boy off to the side. Again, this one. Look at that. Yeah. That was mine. Called it. That was mine. And a little more love here. I'm gonna throw them right on over. Let's shut her down. Woo. Playing with fire, boys and girls. All right, that's it. I'm gonna um, let this thing cool down a minute. I'm gonna let those babies just rest just for a second after uh, that was probably traumatic. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to throw them on the pan and let's go in and cut into them bad boys, see what we got. All right, let's cut into these bad boys. Beautiful. We got to uh, sample, right? Fantastic. All right. That's all I got.